This is the second part of the lecture on challenges and current trends of big data technologies. In this lecture, I will first give you an overview of big data technology stack. Then I will discuss big data adoption challenges in the enterprise. Finally, I will discuss some of the current trends in big data technologies. Now, let me discuss some of the key features of big data technology stack. Some of the key features includes flexible schema, efficient batch and real-time processing, and indexing of distributed data. It also supports advanced analytics and modeling, along with ease of management with auto sharding and partitioning. This big data technology stacks is also reliable and highly available. It also provides standard access mechanism to JDBC, ODBC, JSON, REST, and important tools. The big data technology stack can be broadly classified into four layers consisting of low-cost hardware, cluster, distributed file processing layer, resource management system, and distributed processing and application layer. This big data technology stack utilizes low-cost off-the-shelf community hardware and open source software. In this figure, a sample set of technologies and tools are mentioned here. The list is not exhaustive and new tools and products are being developed or incubated under the Apache family of open source software. Hadoop is an open source software framework for storing data and running applications on cluster of commodity hardware. It provides massive storage for any kind of data, ample processing power, and ability to handle massive amounts of concurrent jobs or tasks. In the Hadoop cluster, data is broken down into smaller pieces called blocks, which are distributed throughout the cluster. In this way, the MapReduce function can be executed in parallel on the smaller subsets of data. The GPFS file Placement Optimizer is a set of features that allow GPFS to operate efficiently in a system based on a shared nothing architecture. It is particularly useful for big data applications that process massive amounts of data. HDFS is a Java-based file system that provides scalable and reliable data storage and is designed to support large clusters of commodity servers. In addition to that, there are other tools that are also available for the distributed file system. Brisk is also an open source Hadoop and Hive distribution developed by DataStax that utilizes Apache Cassandra for its core services and storage. Brisk provides Hadoop MapReduce capabilities using Cassandra file systems and HDFS compatible storage layer inside Cassandra. MapR is a big data platform that combines the processing power of Hadoop with web scale enterprise storage and real time database capabilities. The next layer is the resource management layer. In this layer, YERN is a prerequisite for enterprise Hadoop, providing resource management and a central platform to deliver consistent operations, security, and data government tools across Hadoop clusters. Another important tool is called Platform Symphony. This software delivers powerful enterprise class management for running a wide variety of distributed applications and big data analytics on a scalable shared grid. The next layer is the distributed processing and application layer and it supports various kinds of databases including relational, NoSQL, stream computing, in-memory, as well as various tools for exploration, machine learning, and scripting. Now let me talk about some of the typical challenges in big data adoption. The main challenges are interoperability, manageability, security, development, reusability, and maturity. For interoperability, integration of big data technologies 
with existing enterprise solutions is extremely important. Data ingestion, data modeling, data visualization using existing tools must be supported for manageability, big data cluster management and monitoring is an important issue. It must be integrated with other management tools. As far as security is concerned, all the security tools must be seamlessly integrated with enterprise security tool. For development, there must be integrated development tool covering different big data framework. The testing tool supporting data quality issues must be addressed. As far as reusability is concerned, it must have the ability to reuse application scripts, metadata across multiple environments. For maturity, we all know that big data technology is still immature. It is still rapidly evolving technology and the skills are scarce. Now let me discuss some of the current trends. Hadoop is the key technology used for majority of the big data projects in organizations. Latest survey by various analysts predict that 80% of the customers are investing in Hadoop. 60% believed Hadoop is delivering business value. Top Hadoop vendors are doubling their enterprise licenses from the previous year. The economic sense to adopt Hadoop for big data is becoming a reality. Another important thing that is happening is the formation of open data platform by top product and vendors for standardization and advancement of Hadoop. Open data platform is actually a shared industry effort focused on promoting and advancing the state of Apache Hadoop and big data technologies for the enterprise. Big data analytics is becoming extremely popular these days. Data is coming from variety of sources. Data can be coming from online systems. Data can be coming from data warehouses. Data can be coming from personal source. Data can be in rest. Data can be also from streaming media. Multiple technologies are used for ingesting data and storing results. There are multiple tools that are available to process and analyze the data. There are programming languages like Python, statistical programming language like R, SQL, Scala, and Java are being extremely useful for this purpose. Also, another thing that is happening is instant visualization. Another important open source tool, Spark, is being used for big data analytics. Spark is an open source cluster computing framework and is a fast and general engine for large scale data processing. It also supports many of the standard languages like Python, R, Scala, and Java. There are different modeling approaches uh, for big data analytics. It can be statistical, it can be algorithmic, near real time incremental enrichment of models are also being done and the best of the breed modeling algorithms from various tools are being used. Finally, agility is another important issue today for big data analytics. It supports quick turn turnaround time from exploration, definition, sharing, feedback and production and continuous refinement is also being done. That leads to the conclusion of my lecture today. Big data technologies have gained considerable attention due to its potential to transform data mining and business analytics practices and the possibility for a wide range of highly effective decision making tools and services. With new tools, technologies and infrastructure available at our disposal, it has become much easier to capture, store and analyze unstructured data in the enterprise. Hadoop is becoming one of the key technologies for enterprise big data platform. However, there are several challenges that needs to be addressed before big data technologies will attain its full potential.